If in the first section we defined the concept of risk management, now we are going deep into museum security. First of all, we will define the concept of the museum with its function and the structures. As you probably already know, ICON, International Council of Museum, is the membership association which establishes professional and ethical standards for museum activities. So, ICON is the voice of museum professional on the international stage. In 2022, ICON has approved the proposal for a new definition of museum. Let's read it together. A museum is a no-profit, permanent institution in the service of society that researches, collects, conserves, interprets and exhibits tangible and intangible heritage. Open to the public, accessible and inclusive, museums foster diversity and sustainability. They operate and communicate ethically, professionally and with the participation of communities, offering varied experience for education, enjoyment, reflection and knowledge sharing. Thanks to this definition, you have surely understood that the museum is a complex organization with multiple functions. Let's see in detail which ones. First of all, I think the most important function of the museum is a public service. The museum is in the service of society. It is a public role focused on a common good. Secondly, the museum has scientific function of acquiring and researching cultural heritage, creating and spreading new knowledge. A conservative function of keeping and preserving the cultural heritage because works of art, like sculpture, painting and so on, are destined to deteriorate over time. Our task, our responsibility, is to slow down this natural process as much as possible. Another important function of the museum is to welcome the public through services such as cafeterias, restaurants, bookshops and so on. But also to be able to manage the people when turn on are high. Promotion is another function for museum. Yes, because museums exhibit their art collection and communicate new cultural messages. And finally, the museum needs to be accountable to the public for their job. Because of their public function, they have to show them what was done and how. The museum also has a complex structure based on how it is organized and built. These are permanent exhibition area that usually keep the museum's masterpieces. These areas are the places where the museum identity is displayed. Perhaps because of their importance, these areas are characterized by a static and permanent nature. The works are rarely moved and the layout is kept the same. For this reason, the system, such as alarm, cameras and firefighting, also remain the same. On the other hand, temporary exhibition area have a high connotation of flexibility. These areas are set up and taken down continuously approximately three or six months to exhibit new artists and new collections. For this reason, the security systems are extremely flexible and constantly changing. The most modern museum also hosts the cinema, auditorium, conference hall, used to share knowledge about cultural heritage. 
these areas are focused on the promotion of cultural heritage. Relating to these main areas of museums, permanent, temporary and conference hall, there often is lots of supporting space, such as restaurants, cafeterias, bookshops, clocks rooms, bars, which may have different opening hours and attendance. Then we can find the deposit of the museum's works, which could be close to the main venue or instead in a different place. These places are accessible only by staff. There are a control and security system activated remotely. In fact, in the last few years, museums' deposits are increasingly to allow the visitors access with special guide tours, so much so that many of them have become real museum branches. There are also special deposits, known as caveaux, that preserve works of particular value. These places are only accessible by authorized personnel. Last but not least, I would like to mention a very important win of the museum, the offices. Yes, these are extremely important for a security point of view, as they are very vulnerable. Why so? In this area, an incredible number of documents and information is stored. Collocation of works, procedures on how to remove and manage our collection, code of control, facility report that is the main document about security of exhibition area, emergency plans with the list of evacuation of the most important art pieces, but also contract law, expertise and value of works of art. To sum up, the places just mentioned are all interconnected with time, activities and flows. That is why it is crucial to coordinate and manage them properly. This is the first action for museum security. So, we have read the definition of museum. We have seen its complex function and structure. So, let's see together the role of museum in the society. What is the role of the museum today? What do you think? <music>